going to offer you know, wellness coaching and you come and paint my house, someone is more likely to look up house painting than they are wellness coaching. So the, the play there is always keep keywords within what you're describing um, and get listed in there in as many unique places as possible, buying and selling, trades and services, bartering. Um, and when you offer something for sale on Craigslist, you can put at the bottom keywords where you can simply list all sorts of different things related to the service you're offering or selling. Now, a word of warning, if you start using things that are completely not related, they will, someone will go in and, and blackball you from Craigslist. So it has to be relative uh, to the service that you're offering. If I'm selling a refrigerator, I'm not going to put in there massage therapist in my keywords. Someone will say this is a scam, and once you get hit as a scam, it is incredibly difficult to list again. So be realistic with what you're putting in there and make sure that you, when you describe what you're selling in an ad on Craigslist, that you are selling the experience that someone is going to have. People want to feel good about what they're buying. People want to feel like, okay, well, I'm gonna call this person, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it sounds okay, but I don't know. Sell it as, you, you've got to make people feel comfortable. And people feel comfortable in groups. Craigslist is good if it is a, an event. I personally would not call the massage therapist off of Craigslist. I would be very concerned at who I would be going to or who would be coming to my home. Um, so you really need to think about not only your own personal safety with are you comfortable with doing it, but would people be comfortable with coming into your home? So be realistic with your expectations, make it safe for people, um, and obviously there are certain things that you wouldn't want to say in an ad, like it is safe, because that is a great big red flag for people. Um, so be realistic with what you're offering. I would suggest not offering the personal services, but personal event, you know, the events. Party planning, party planning is safe. Offer to go to a neutral place to discuss those things. It's, uh, it's about everyone being safe. Okay, Yelp. Yelp, I don't know if everybody has it in their community. If not, it's a great place to be able to list um, your service, your business, and get people, you know, get your friends and family. There's nothing wrong with a little self-promotion here. Get your friends and family to go in and comment on you. It's, it's always nice to have people, uh, customers are even better, but before you've got the customer base that are willing to go in and write references or write their experience, get your friends and family to do it. And if you remember back, we talked about doing these survey cards, get them to write a little testimonial about the class they experienced and put that up in your Yelp because they're not going in trying to remember what the experience is. They're, it's a testimonial, testimonial directly from you know, and following the event that you've hosted. It's, it seems much more real. People can tell whether or not someone's just writing fluff pieces for family members. So really make it relative to what it is that you do. If I've taught an aromatherapy class, and I'm not an aromatherapist, so that's bad, um, and I all of a sudden a week later say, oh, can you write me something about the class? People aren't going to write from the emotional response of the experience, they are going to write from their memory and try to make it sound like it's from their experience. We're all smart consumers, we know the difference. There are new sites. There is one called kijiji.com, which I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Sorry, Eba, if I'm not, but you came up with a very weird name for a community event place. Uh, Kijiji, and I, I truly, I haven't seen much about this, but it is uh, eBay's new launching site for its community centers. Um, How do you spell that? K 
K-I-J-I-J-I.com. Yeah. Um, and you can list anything there, any kind of events, and it goes out to any of the EBA members that are in the community. It's free. Um, and as we all know, eBay is good. It's a good place to connect and be seen. And once you're in there, obviously this is, this is a new discovery for me as well. Um, once you're in there and eBay kind of kicks it out into the community, it will become much more popular. Uh, so good to get in and figure it out before it's trying to play, you know, you're trying to play catch up. MySpace and Facebook, community networking. Community networking is key. When you are trying to sell a service that relates to people's well-being, or you're offering a service, uh, you have to have the ability to self-promote. Now this is where you self-promote. Having a great MySpace page where you can connect with the things that are relative, uh, whether it's yoga, get connected with the community. Have those people that offer services that marry well with yours linked to you and get all your friends and family to promote business associates people that are down at your local gym oh that's great that you have a yoga you you host the yoga class can we be friends on facebook i would love to promote that for you all of a sudden you're not promoting that for them you're now connected with all of their contacts it's a good thing to do because it's kind of that cross promotion. They're promoting you, you're promoting them, but you're not asking them to promote you. They're doing it inadvertently, which is okay. It's a tough economic climate. Twitter. Twitter is a really good place for people that are hosting multiple events or have a really active social community. Um, there is uh, a new community acu acu acupuncture clinic. Okay, we can edit that out, right? There is a new, is this new, Tracy? Is the clinic new or is this new? Yep. Okay. Um, Twitter. So we're gonna, we're gonna start with Twitter. Twitter is a really good place um, to advertise if you have uh, a lot of different community events. Um, for example, um, a guy that works here at the college um, also works for a community acupuncture um, clinic that is new. And my recommendation for them would be to get on Twitter. I mean, they've got a lot of different practitioners that are out there offering um, Thursday nights, $20 treatments from four to seven. And if that went out to every person on Twitter, every time they came up with that, you know, different promotions, it touches multiple, multiple people. It's a ripple effect. So there are definitely advantages. I personally am not on Twitter. Um, I am not in the community enough to actually, you know, need to put down what I do every day. Um, but it certainly works for a lot of people. Um, and if you're out there and you're doing it and you have open houses, you have ACHS is on Twitter and we list all of our community wellness classes. Uh, it's a great way to keep people informed without inundating them with email too. They can simply, you know, get an update. They're following you. They know, oh, you know what, ACHS is having a community wellness class and they can come if they want because they're already a friend of yours or they're already following you on Twitter. 